So, I am really elated as we are every year, beginning of the year and the very first week, so when the CAT results are out. And today I have with me Noorpreet Kaur, who is a student of chemical engineering at IIT Roorkee, a student of career launcher uh, Roorkee, and who has got a 99.79 percentile in CAT 2021. So, uh, let us let us talk to Noorpreet and uh, figure out uh, her journey, the peaks and the lows that she had during her journey and what made her got a great 99.79 where she will be. She's expected to get calls from uh, all the major IIMs, including Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Calcutta, Lucknow, Indore, Kuzikode, and Shillong. So uh, let's let's talk to Nutrit. Nutrit, welcome. Yeah, thank you, sir. So how have you been? Are you, sir, are you at the campus or uh, IT route has shut down again because of Omnicon? No, sir. Like I, uh, currently, I'm home. I'll be traveling to back to campus tomorrow. So because of like final year project, so yeah, okay. Have, yes, so how are you feeling, Nurpreet? So you are back home uh, in your uh, hometown that is Patiala, and you got a wonderful yes. results. So how is the environment in your family? Uh, everyone was so happy. Like my father came back home at twelve like at night so oh. I was waiting for him like I didn't tell him my score so okay. when he came back home uh, I shared my score he was like he was quite happy he was like he was like so happy he started saying like now you should start preparing for the interviews where like you'll be getting calls from ev everywhere so he was quite happy even my grandma she was quite happy for me she was eagerly waiting to tell everyone in the family she was just waiting for the result Okay, so great. So congratulations once again. And you know, it's such a wonderful thing that you, uh, you know, your bit of an effort has made your family brought in so much of uh, happiness, right? So yes. great. Now, just uh, uh, peeping inside uh, your journey and the outcome that is 99.79. So Nupreet, first and foremost, uh, what's your breakup across the three sections of English, logical reasoning, data interpretation and maths? Uh, I've got 99.45 percentile in English. Oh, wow. uh, 99. Oh. Yeah, ninety nine point six and or seven in uh, LRDI and ninety seven point zero eight in quant. Ninety seven point zero eight. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And which log have you taken? So scores have been scaled up it, or scaled down? Uh, it has been scaled up for uh, with uh, like five point seven one seven marks. Okay. So, so my yeah slot one it it has been scaled up. It has been scaled up, right? So yes, sir. And what is the overall score that you've got? 116.17. 116.17. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. So, um, you know, during the journey, I remember, you know, you started off uh, last year in the month of uh, October, right? So, October 2022, 2020 is when you started with the preparation, right? Yes, sir. Like, I, I had uh, visited Career Launcher during January with one of my seniors. So, I had attended a few classes then. So, that time I had a talk with Vipul, sir. So, he said, like, we'll uh, be starting your batches classes around July. Mm -hmm. So, that's when I actually started preparing for myself. Mm -hmm. I wasn't quite good in quant. So, he said, like, you should start preparing with quant and you should start doing questions. So, I pre started preparing preparing with number system and during September our uh, classes actually started so uh, you were the first one who took the number system classes and then we also continued with our quant classes and Chetan sir with English. With English. So, Great. So yes. How have been the overall experience? Uh, it has been a great journey. Of course, there were quite a few moments when I felt low, but you know, everyone was there to have a chat with me. I could call anyone at any time. I had a chat with Chetan sir. I had a chat with Vipul sir. So uh, like I used to uh, feel quite a fluctuation in English. So I wasn't feeling very good at some times in some of the mocks I felt quite low. So I, I used to call Vipul sir every time, you know, to discuss with him, to strategize and to score better, like to strategize and score better in the next mock. So you have found uh, every time he's there available. Yes. Um, uh, ready to handhold to ensure that you get a perfect 99.79, right? Uh, yes. Okay. So that's a wonderful thing. So we have great mentors at uh, 
career launcher in Vipul sir himself has got a 99.8 percentile in uh, quantitative ability and a, again a very high score in uh, logical reasoning and interpretation. So you know we at career launcher we believe you know uh, been there done that. So you know all of us have been taking the examination and uh, and that's the reason why uh, we understand our students so well and we, we are able to help them uh, uh, not only in the fundamentals uh, with the fundamentals during the class but otherwise uh, about their mood swings and about their uh, you know uh, the feelings that they have during the journey. So great. Um, so you know, uh, out of all the all the uh, scores that you've got, so you know, particularly uh, VA and LRDI, you got a great great score, ninety nine point four five and ninety nine point six, right? So yes. Anything that you would uh, want to uh, you know bring to our notice, how you're prepared, or uh, you know uh, what made you you know get such a wonderful score in these two sections. Yes, sir. So, uh, like in LRDI, I, I like never have crossed uh, like 45 marks. So it was the first time, like the cat was the only mark. I'll say the cat as my final mark. So it was the, my final mark and I scored such a good, such good score. So, uh, you, like basically for engineers, I believe we are not in touch with our English. We are we are greatly in touch with our technical side. We are touching with our maths. We are touch uh, like mathematical skills, but not with the, like in touch with our English. So uh, basically, for engineering, so uh, firstly, I used to only read things, but I don't like I didn't used to like comprehend it or write it somewhere. But then I had a talk with Vipul sir, so he said that you should start writing a short summary for everything you read. So uh, during like August, I started reading around 15 articles daily, five oh. in the morning, five in the afternoon and five at night. So uh, not, I didn't write summary for everything, but I did write for what I felt was like, uh, I wasn't able to comprehend while reading. So that were the articles like, they actually gave me a lot of insights into new topics also, and they made my comprehension better. I was like able to read fast during the mock test and I was able to comprehend and you know go with the flow. I wasn't going back and reading again and again. Uh, it helped me a lot. And for LRDI, I was like quite weak in LRDI. I didn't score uh, much like much score during my early mocks it was like during october i started having a jump in my score that was because like uh, i had a mental block that uh, i can't do lrdi that was the only thing so like uh, this mental block. yes sir sorry how did you remove this mental block so that was when like it was Vipul sir only. I had a talk with him like for a two hour stay. He uh, like he was traveling back to his home. So he was in his car. I was like talking to him. I was explaining that I don't know why I'm not able to score yet. I, I am able to solve every set after mock test. So he just said me that you need to make a better strategy. Go for two, like select two sets first. Don't keep looking at every set. Just select two sets. And you have to do, uh, do them properly. You have 20 minutes for every step, set. So eventually, uh, like I started practicing it. I did a lot of sets. Like I completed every booklet. I did every sheet thrice, not even twice. I did it thrice. So like I, I keep, uh, like I should be getting new concepts in mind. So that's all I did for LRD. I just, I just kept on practicing. I didn't pick up new sets, but I kept on practicing my old sets. I have like a bundle of uh, 100 sheets. I have written, I have pasted my good sets there and I revised them all in my last week. Okay, so we used to we yes. keep saying uh, uh, three RCs every day and two LRs and two DIs every day. So did you actually stick to that strategy and make sure that you're doing these things daily? Uh, I did do the LRDI uh, part. But for uh, RCs, uh, I used to do like one in the evening and one in the morning. That's all. I didn't do three RCs, but I felt like uh, I wanted to improve my reading. I wanted to improve my comprehension. I could do questions if I am able to read, you know, properly in between the lines. I could understand that thing. So 
that's what I felt for my strategy. I had kept that. Right. So how many mocks have you taken, Rupri? Because that's one very, very important component to get. I have book. taken around 20 mocks. So uh, apart from past year mocks, like past year papers, I have taken around 20, 22 mocks. Okay. And what was our CL predictor predicted? Uh, CL predicted around 99.76%. Oh, and you got a 99.79. 79, so, yes. You know, so, 0.03. So, that's yes. a great prediction. Yes, sir. So, uh, right. you know, I would want to tell my viewers that uh, CL is a very techni technologically driven company and, you know, all these uh, 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 beautiful tools which are AI-enabled tools like the uh, B-School predictor and the percentile predictors. Uh, so the, they are they are something that we have introduced almost a, almost a decade back, and they are great great tools, right? So uh, we have Nurpreet with us. Uh, she has taken twenty career launcher mocks and uh, did two RCs, two LRs, and two DIs every day. Quant is something that comes naturally, but then she was slightly weak. But then our uh, mentor Vipul Birla has been always there to help her out, and. Uh, and the outcome is 99.79. Great. So, Nurpreet, um, almost all the journeys, you know, it's been 20 years that I've been I've been doing this and I've been mentoring and hand-holding the students and, you know, making them uh, realize their potential and achieve their dream. So, you know, you know, almost all these success stories, um, one thing is very common. Uh, during the preparation, there was a stage that a child is stuck, that a future manager is stuck that, uh, you know, which, which uh, calls for or probably, you know, got a uh, job on the campus, or probably there's something or the other uh, during the journey which which uh, tries to get you off track. So the same thing happened with you yes. as well. Yes, sir. So uh, like uh, I didn't get my. Uh, we usually uh, get our pre-placement offer uh, uh, offer just after our internship. So uh, I was like uh, sure I didn't get a pre-placement offer. So I had to sit for placement. Like my family was adamant, you have to sit for placement. But mm -hmm. uh, I had my uh, prior goal. Uh, my first and foremost goal was CAT. So during September, like it was the lowest point when, you know, uh, like uh, I was scoring the lowest in my mocks because I was like preparing, just started, I had just started preparing for my placements. I am not a kind of person who can put my, like divide my attention everywhere. I need to keep a focus on one thing then I can work on other things too. But mm. during that placements and CAT, they were the two most important things. So I had to divide my attention amongst them. So during one week when I was like preparing my re resume, I like was so confused. I didn't know it was day or night. I was like constantly reviewing my resume. I was sharing it with my seniors and everything. And uh, do like on in that week i gave my mock and i low scored my lowest i scored 64 marks i still remember that day i cried a lot like i didn't know what was happening and i don't know if it's it was god's fate fate or something like that i received my pre-placement offer that evening so i didn't give it a second thought i just accepted that offer uh, I didn't look at the CTC or anything because I wanted to focus on CAT. And uh, I didn't even tell my family. They wanted me to, you know, grab a good package, you know, sit for placements. But then I convinced them that what I dream of is like getting into an IM first. I don't dream of a good package. I don't dream of a placement. So it was my goal. I pushed myself back. I... I literally took a break for three days. I didn't do anything. I just enjoyed and I put pu like pushed myself back into the game. And I had like improved a lot after that. Even like Vipul sir gave me a call, like what all have you been doing? Like you have been like improving a lot. You have been scoring constantly above 100 and 110. So I was like happy. That's why I was scoring good. So. That was the lowest. So what I is the one final message that you would want to give to your uh, second year guys or your juniors out there who, who would be listening to this conversation later? So uh, you know, one of them uh, just gets, fat, just gets uh, fascinated out of uh, you know the coding jobs that they're getting on the campus, right? Uh, and they're getting good packages. So what is your take? Any message that you would like to give them? So... Uh, in Roorkee, it is like a trend that everyone is in and pe people get 
a good package they get a good package when they are when they are off campus mm. but uh, you know during the four years when you are studying there are some things like you enjoy if you enjoy being there amongst people if you enjoy handling them if you enjoy working in a good team if you like in, enjoy everything with people i think you should be thinking for going for an mba rather than going for a coding job because i know myself i couldn't i won't be able to sit in a 4 by 4 cubicle and do 10 hours straight coding i won't be able to do it but i enjoy like i have handled a lot of uh, like you know clubs in my uh, college life uh, i enjoy being there for people i enjoying uh, i enjoy organizing fest so i knew that i had to do something in that field so it's the one thing i feel like if someone th- uh, here is listening so they should go for it like they should great so i think uh, you have your more of a managerial try even preparing for uh, cat you exam sit in front of the yeah. computer and code yeah. for almost 10 hours uh, great so i yeah. think you expected to get all almost all the calls right so and all the best uh, for uh, you know calls from the yeah. yeah. uh, calcutta yeah. now so they must be uh, coming anytime soon and all the best for personality development program that is also get started so i want yes. uh, a hundred percent commitment uh, from your side as well to crack the second part of uh, uh, the testing process. That's a test of your personality, right? So all the best, and uh, yes, hope sir. to see you at IIM Ahmedabad or Bangalore in the near future. Thank you so much, sir.